Flow Gamer Thoughts. In today's video, we're gonna witness the new epic gameplay of The Last of Us Part 2. It's a new gameplay man from the PS4 State of Play we just saw last night. So let's take take a look at this. Alright, that's the Ellie we're playing with. We all know about the graphics, you know, the visuals Naughty Dog Studios make and this one's like Oh my god. This is totally like next generation gameplay. You know, if this video is like, uh, if this gameplay is like 4K and 60 FPS with the same visuals, we all can agree to this that this uh, gameplay is from PlayStation 5. I mean, we might not even notice a difference. And this gameplay is from PS4. I mean, oh my god. All we can do is just we can be excited about this, even playing on a base PS4. This is gonna look really, really amazing, man. But look at the water physics. It's perfect. Okay, we're in a different area right now. The particle quality and everything, man. The physics. Look at the water physics and how the character, you know, reacts to our environment. And look at the lighting. It's pretty much like ray tracing, you know, done already with this PS4 hardware. But it's not ray tracing, but it looks amazing. Okay, we're gonna take out this character, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's listening to music, man. <laughs> look at the tattoo on Ellie's hand. Look at the detail. Each and everything around. Is she having a PS Vita or something? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna say about uh, Nintendo. You know, <laughs> this is a Sony game, man. It's 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 a perfect license to have PS Vita. Whoa, that's a stroke on her neck. Ah. Oh, look at the fabric. Everything is so perfect. That that is what Naughty Dog does every single detail we can enjoy man. okay we got crafting items here and there we got ammos okay we're going to the next door oh there are two guys in there look at the floor look at the floor look at the visuals Naughty Dog director uh, Neil Druckmann already said that you know the set pieces in this game you know like particular action sequences and everything you know from a cutscene to uh, uh, the actual gameplay everything would be pretty seamless and realistic look at the grass so realistic man I just want to keep on praising this game, you know, despite all the leaks that came out, you know, the past month, you know, people try to slaughter the whole studio, but still, this game can give you the chills. Look at the, look, look at the character, how, how he reacts. It's not like in other games where, you know, when you, when you put a stronghold on people, they just, you know, uh, remain numb. In this game, people react. Pretty much like in real life. Oh, look at this. She's gonna take a headshot, yeah. Hey guys, I want you to tell in the comments below, like, do you guys play this game with the aim assist on, or, <laughs> you know, like manually you put up a headshot, you manually want to play just like you're playing your games on your PC? I mean, with the controller, uh, I, I prefer to play in aim assist. I know it's not kind of a cheating though, <laughs> I really want to enjoy it though. Okay, we got a little, like a survival mode or something. Wishing. Oh, she just burned the damn dog. <laughs> so even in this gameplay, we can see, you know, every single place we can go and do anything we want. Just like in real life, you gotta, you know, you gotta capitalize on the vulnerability of the opponents, I would say. 
dude, I just want to keep on praising about the graphics. This is amazing. I can't believe this is going to run in a base PS4. <laughs> Whoa. Just like that. <laughs> And guys, I want to tell you that, uh, you know, uh, in Last of Us 2, we have a dedicated dodge button, so during the combat, that is uh, something we need. In the last game, we, don't, we didn't have any uh, dodge button and everything. We got to move according to how the character attacks, so. so if there is a dodge mechanic in this game, that means the AI would be even more aggressive, even more realistic, reacting to each and every move. Crazy man. Look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's brutal. That's brutal. She just runs away. Well, this is the best part, I guess. She's gonna take it. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. That's like making people breathless, man. Whoa, it's a headshot. Did you guys see the blood? The shatter on her? Oh, okay, so we gotta, you know, clean swipe every single people in there so that we could access the next area. Or maybe in this part of the mission it's like that. You know, uh, in Last of Us 1 it's not like we have to take each and every one in the place so that we can progress. No, it's not that. It's like in real life. We can move, we can leave some. But there are mandatory places where we have to uh, take each and every single person. You know, that's according to the gameplay. That's like, uh, you know, based on the storyline. So, that's realistic. Well, this game will have even more better accessibility and, you know, based on the environments. And yeah, guys, uh, just want to tell you that uh, we have a jump button too, just like in Uncharted, we can climb on everything. I can't say everything, but I don't know, maybe uh, the game devs actually said, yeah, you can jump on things and we can move on a lot of stuff. We'll see how it goes. When Isaac talks to us about this, I'm getting tired of this. Nora. Nora! I'm not going down for her. There's a win. <laughs> you know, guys, this is crazy. I mean, uh, a lot of modern games, I would say, they have this uh, vent, you know. We could uh, easily go around places using these vents. It all started with Batman, I would say. How many of you guys can agree? I don't know. It all started with Batman. That's the first game that used vents, you know, like mainstream thing, mandatory thing. So... Maybe maybe a lot of old school gamers could uh, relate to something, you know, better than that. Back in the day, maybe a lot of games would have that event thing. I don't know. And the character models, I want to tell you guys, and the blur effect, and the character animation, it's so realistic. Motion capture thing, I don't know, all the modern stuff, man. <laughs> we can't just even argue about things, how good this is. Alright guys, that's all for this video right now. The Last of Us 2 is gonna be epic despite all the uh, leaks and everything, man. Just throw those trash things away. Just keep it away. So, it's all now. The real estate is nearing and this is a video we just enjoyed from the state of play. And hope you guys enjoyed this feed. And I want you guys to subscribe, share, and like, and comment. Uh, this, this is something I say, you know, in every single video, and I hope you guys like it, man. That's it. Goodbye, goodbye for now. Gamer Thugs, we're out.